Hey everybody, welcome to the first week of Healthy Happy Fitness. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'll get on with it. Um, so welcome, this is very exciting, it's our first ever week. Um, and obviously, I'm Abby, and I will be bringing you videos every Monday. So isn't that exciting? You know it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited about this, and I think everyone else is sorry about my blouse. It's like, woo! Anyway, so yeah, we're all very excited to be a part of this, and we've got some wicked cool stuff. And I just want to say, if you left me a comment on one of the videos, um, and you left me a video response, I will get back to you. It will take me a bit of time because I'm slow like that, okay? But I will. I'll, I've got something for you guys to do if there's one of you or like loads of you. Anyway, right. So the topic this week is workout essentials. And this is basically a pretty fun thing. It's however you would define your workout essentials. Um, so I, I'm going to include like items of clothing, specific brands, um, and things like that. So yeah, I mean, let's just jump into it and see. So my first thing is obviously if you're a woman or you're like big breasted man, uh, you'd want a sports bra. I've got one here. I was like, should I show them my sports bra? I don't know. So anyway, that's my one of my sports bras. Is This isn't a very good one actually. It's, it's from Lonsdale. Yeah, it's not from Lonsdale. I got it like a while ago, but I can't find my other ones because I think they're in the wash, but whatever, I thought I'd give you one. Anyway, uh, so yeah, sports bras are very important. They um, keep you supported, and especially if you're doing like high impact cardio work, you're gonna have to wear a sports bra because otherwise you're gonna have really painful boobs. Um, I can't believe I'm talking about boobs on YouTube, but YOLO. <laughs> Um, so yeah, a sports bra is key for many, 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 many people. Um, I would say even if you have like double A or double H boobs, you should be wearing a sports bra. Like it doesn't really matter what size you are, the breast tissue is still going to be like impacted by your sport. And even if you're doing something gentle, it's still good to wear a sports bra. Uh, if you get particularly good brands, um, you will find that they will have like low impact, medium impact, high impact. Um, high impact is stuff like running. And low impact is like speed walking, stuff like that. Anyway, you can, you'll can you see on the websites and stuff. Um, my, I don't particularly have a favorite brand of sports bra because the brands are quite expensive, like that I wanna buy and I don't have very much money, which sucks. But I do, I'm looking into getting a shock absorber one and a shock absorber swimsuit as well because they're rocking as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, they're, 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 they're like 30 quid or something, which is like, what, $60 maybe? Maybe a bit less than that. So yeah, it's a lot of money, but I think it's worth it. Uh, if it's gonna keep your boobs looking good and you know, when you work out, you, you wanna be safe in the breasticle department. So yes, sports bras are a key and an absolute essential if you're a woman. Um, obviously trainers are also a big thing and basically just workout clothes. Like seriously, if you're going to go for a workout wearing skinny jeans and like a really nice Hollister top, just turn around and go back home again because you should be wearing things that you don't mind getting sweaty, gross, probably smelling a bit bad, like, you know, that's, that is the nature of a sports workout, that's just the nature of it, you're going to start sweating, and to be honest, if I went to the gym like this, I wouldn't expect to come out like this, I would be like sweating, I'd have face sticking to my hair, I wouldn't look good, and that's okay, because you're not supposed to look good when you work out, so that's another thing, you know, just screw what everyone else thinks, you're you, it's cool, just wear proper workout clothes, trainers, I mean, I like leggings, so I wear leggings, um, and, uh, obviously, like, a top and a sports bra, and that's it. 
and trainers. I said trainers. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I that's what I wear. That's fairly standard. I am um, on one of these videos. I will actually show you what I do wear to work out. But um, I don't know where they are at the moment, and I've got to get this up before midnight. So anyway, guys. So that is the f like second few things for me. Um, my third one is 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 like you know when you have that terrible feeling when you go to the gym or you go for your workout specifically if you go to the gym um, and you come out and you realise you've forgotten your deodorant and you're like oh my god I'm going to be stinking it's going to be awful and that's just really bad okay so I um, found a, like a nice little thingy mabob that will combat this it's called Perspirex there you go that's the thing and what it is, it's a deodorant, it's like a roll-on deodorant that you put on at night and then you don't have to put it on in the mornings and it will last for like three or four days. Obviously you can apply it every night if you want. Um, so that's really good if you've forgotten to do your deodorant at, um, when you go to the gym or whatever because then you, you're you going to be protected for a bit until like you get home or if you're going out or something then you're going to be safe. So yeah, you apply it at night so that when you go to the gym in the morning or whatever, you're going to be cool. Um, obviously it's quite nice to have like a spray on deodorant or roll on or whatever. Uh, but there are lots of these. I mean, this one smells disgusting. It's got alcohol in it and it, it like, it really, it's, it, like, it's horrible. Oh, what does it... It's like hand sanitizer. It's, it's incredibly... I know what it's like. It's like dry gin. It's like, yeah, it's like a dry gin. If you've ever smelled dry gin, then you'll know exactly what it smells like. But it's not... It's like dry gin and vodka. Yeah. But that's a really good thing. Um, I like it. And I'm, I'm a quite a big sweater. So that, for me, works on a regular basis. Like, a day, just on day-to-day, -day, even if I'm not working out. I like using that. Um, another thing is if you don't have time for a shower dry shampoo all the way this is Batiste you know it's like the biggest brand of dry shampoo um, in the UK I think uh, so yeah I mean obviously you don't have to use Batiste but dry shampoo is always good because uh, it just freshens up your roots and you know keeps you looking clean and things obviously if you're like dripping with sweat it's probably not going to work but I, I like it I think it's cool so yeah I use them and also actually before I forget, I have more than one like nightly deodorant. I have this one by Shaw. Shaw Maximum Protection. It looks like really shoddy because it's it was it ran out ages ago. But I like that one. It smells good. This one smells really good actually. Mm. I like that. Yeah, it smells good. I like that. But both of these are quite expensive. Like this was six pounds, which is. I don't know how many dollars that is, and this was like four pounds, so that they're, they're quite expensive as deodorants go, but they're worth it because you don't need a like to buy one every couple of weeks, like they last for a good three or four months. So, yeah, sorry, I'm getting track. Um, obviously, yeah, dry shampoo always a good thing to have. I mean, even if you don't use it for your workout, you can use it in daily life. I love it. Um, another thing that's really important for me is music. I would, I would, oh God, I don't know what I'd do without music when I'm working out. Like, for me, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether it's, the reason I can't run is because my headphones always fall out of my ears. So I'm like running and then boom, and your headphones fall out. I'm like, fuck it, I've got to go home now because I, I just can't bear not having my music. So yeah, I think music for me is absolutely essential. For some people you might want to listen to an audiobook or a podcast or I don't know, maybe you just want to listen to the sound of your workout. Um but for me music is an absolute essential. And along with that is obviously headphones. Um I just use like the Apple like the average Apple ones that just like sit in your ears. Um and because I, I do like cycling as my workout most of the time. That works pretty well. Like they they tend to stay in. Um, 
obviously if you're a runner you probably want to get like running headphones I've just bought some headphones that like they're like go on the back of your neck and then they go up and then they sit in your ears like that um, so they probably like stay in your ears which is really good because sometimes it's easier to go for a run than it is to go for a cycle so I'm pleased with that uh, so headphones and music for me absolutely essential uh, I'm just trying to think anything else um, some people like bringing a workout friend I'm personally the only person I usually would ever go and work out with is my dad because he's the one that takes me to the gym uh, but usually I'm like I get in this zone <laughs> it's it's weird I mean if you ever see me at the gym or something like <laughs> come say hi and be like oh, I'm working fuck off um, but no I, I just like I get into a proper zone and when I do that I can I kind of forget that I'm really tired and stuff and then you know you can faint and stuff but that's another story for another day <laughs> but yeah some people like working out with people whether it's your mum your dad your sister your brother friends whatever whoever it is um or if it's just yourself then pff, it's really up to you um yeah uh, <laughs> that's my laptop i don't know if it's great it sounds not better yolo um, uh, I think that's it. I don't know. Obviously you need like a gym bag if you're going to the gym and you'll need bits and bobs. Just like anything really. I mean it's all personal to you. Those are definitely some things that I would, that are essential to me. Um, but I think a sports bra is essential to every single person. And I would say if you're going to work out, you what you need is you need like a change of underwear like bra and pants and um, change of top and change just like a whole change of clothes because you'll sweat and it's gross and you want to be smelling fresh and stuff afterwards uh, oh yeah that's, that's definitely it is water I don't care like you are you need water when you go and work out otherwise you'll become dehydrated and it will not be fun um so yeah water is an absolute essential obviously you can bring energy drinks and stuff as well but water you must 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 bring water and i would highly recommend water above any other drink so yes that's that i think uh comment down below with your workout essentials and obviously tune in in the next few weeks uh, no, next few days to see what the other lovely ladies on the channel um, would deem their workout essentials. So if you guys have any cool brands that you want us to try out or stuff like that or, you know, anything really, uh, just leave a comment below and we will, we'll, we'll, I'll wish, your wish, your wish will be our command. There we go. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. We will see you, well, I'll see you next week. Obviously, you will see that lot um, in the next few days. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you very much, and bye.